Good morning, brothers and sisters. I welcome you to our daily devotion insight. And this morning, I would like to share a devotion that I entitled is "Our God Loves to Help." The God who our God loves to help. <laughs> okay, uh, in our journey of faith, you know, sometimes it, uh, it's not all bed and roses, isn't it? Huh? The Bible never say that when we become Christians, everything will be smooth sailing. It's never. We will encounter. You know, moments of trials, we will encounter mountains of uh, uh, hardship, okay? And we also encounter moments of uncertainty and confusion. So when we face challenges like this, you know, we, we are taken, uh, we can find solace and hope in the words of book of James, chapter 1, verse 5 and 8, okay? And I'll read from the message translation, it goes like this. If you do not know what you are doing, pray to the Father. He loves to help. You will get his help and won't be condescended to when you ask for it. Ask boldly, believingly, without second thought. Okay, we stop there. You see how comforting it to know that our Heavenly Father is ever ready to help us when we find ourselves in moments of trials, doubt, and confusion. There are times that we don't know what to do, isn't it? Right? Uh, the, 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 the problem that seems to be so high up and, and we are just like, Why do, how do I get myself out of this mess? See, when we are at that moment, God's heart is very inclined towards us. You know, He loves to offer divine guidance, wisdom and understanding to those who seek Him. Okay? So now how do we tap on this great assistance, a great resources that God offers? James encourages us to turn to prayer. We are invited to approach your Father boldly with confidence and trust, knowing that He desires to actively involve in our lives. You know, our God loves to involve. He loves to help. He loves to be participate and be your partner in going through the stages of life. Uh, he's not distant or disinterested. Okay, the Bible says that our God is not a God that has eyes that doesn't see, ears that doesn't hear. No, my friends, for He delights in helping His children navigate the complexity in this life. Now, it's essential to approach God with unwavering, unwavering faith that believing that He will respond to our pleas and our prayers. Okay, let's read on. There's a, there's a second part of this scripture. People who worry their prayers are like wind waves, uh, wind whip waves. Don't you think, uh, don't think you're going to get anything from the master that way? A drift in the sea, keeping all your options open. Have you heard of people who say, I'm keeping my options open? Means uh, they are not committed. Uh, they are not committed to any decision they make. You know? Just in case this thing don't work out, I still have another way. right? James described this kind of people who are, you know, like the waves, you know, tossed here and there. Kejap A, kejap B. So when we believe God, uh, okay, in the back of our mind, uh, what happens God doesn't come? Uh, okay, I better find my own way. This is what we call keeping our options open. Okay, the comparison of worrying prayers or uh, to weak wind waves highlight the lack of state fairness and stability. Uh, not steady one. Uh, the Asian will say, mm, Tara steady lah, this guy. We got to be steady. When we believe in God, we got to be steady. Okay, uh, just as the winds driven and tossed by the wind, individuals who approach God with worry, and anxiety in their prayers lack firm foundation. Yeah, uh, in trust and faith. Yeah, their minds are always restless, continually shifting. No, don't know lah. Let's see, kejap ada ini, kejap tu, kejap ini. Okay, and they find themselves carried away by doubt, in uncertainty. So, so when we doubt in our prayers, we lack confidence. Okay, and this is what James says, you know, if you want God to help, you must trust Him fully. Do not be doubtful. Okay, don't know whether God will come. God will certainly come. God will certainly give you wisdom. You know, there will be a moment that don't know what you do, suddenly God give, give you an idea. Okay, suddenly God provided a way out. You know, we have encountered in the church many people who have had testimonies upon testimonies when at their very day end, God turned the table around. I remember one businessman, you know, he, he was at this dead end. He said, okay, after this, okay, 
uh, 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 he got sued and he got court cases and and it was not his fault but people are just taking advantage of him and he said okay this is the end he, he told God oh, this is the end that's that's finished but you know what God turned the <laughs> turn turn the thing around miraculously God the the court rules to his favor <laughs> it's like this is a miracle. You see, God loves to help in your uh, whatever situation, whether it be a diseases that you're battling with, whether it be a decision you're about to make, or maybe it's, it's like the, 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 the enemy is trying to take things away from you. When we seek God, God will provide a way out. Okay? So let us have faith that God is faithful, that He hears our prayers, that He will provide the wisdom when we seek. He will provide the way out for us. So let us be encouraged today. Hey, my friends, be encouraged. No matter how uncertain and confusing our circumstances are, God loves to help. Approach Him with confidence. Seek Him through uh, prayer, trust in His unfailing love. And with our faith as our anchor, we can navigate today's challenges knowing that our God, the Father, is by our side, ready to help us all the way. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your unending love and your desire to help us, O oh God. We know that you're always there with us. And Lord, help us to overcome our doubtful and tr help us to put our trust fully in you, knowing that you will come to our aid, that you love to help us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May the word of the Lord bless you this morning.